Hi friends! I'm doing a special little episode today for my floss tube channel, but it's not really a floss tube per se. It is an unboxing video. An unboxing video, you might ask? Well, yes. <laughs> I got my prize package in the mail from Annie's Publishing. They're the publishing company that puts out just cross stitch magazine here in the united states just cross stitch magazine had a contest and thanks to thanks to you my floss tube friends who encouraged me to enter the 2019 just cross stitch ornament contest and i am honored and thrilled to say that i am one of the six winners that won a prize package from just cross stitch and their corresponding sponsors now i knew when i entered the contest that it was a prize package and they included on the website which i will link below a photo like a far away photo of all the goodies that you could win and then they had a list from this list of sponsors what you could win from each one and I'm not gonna lie I went to every single website that the sponsors had <laughs> to try to kind of parse out and figure out what I'm gonna win <laughs> well I am happy to say that I don't know what really is in here <laughs> so I thought it wouldn't it be fun if we all opened it together. So I got my little box cutter. I covered up my name on my box, but we got this. I have not opened it yet. So I thought we could open it and we could look at it together. And then I grabbed uh, some paper that I could like hold up what it is so we can see in the light, like equalize. So I am going to, let's see if we can get this. I've never really done an unboxing video before. I know I'm supposed to cut away from me. Safety first. Okay, I'm putting it down. Can you see? Cut away. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. I got this in the mail and I just could not wait to open it up. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay safety first. I'm putting, putting down the cutter. <laughs> All right. Yay! Okay, oh, well, I got some bubble, and I got, I got, they returned my ornament, so I'm gonna set my ornament down. You can't see my ornament, so I'm gonna go ahead and move that out of right now. Do, 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 do. All right, ah, okay, I moved my ornament out of frame. Ah, okay, here we go. Are you ready? I wonder if I can tilt this down. Can we tilt it? Okay, friends, hold on a second. Let me see if I can tilt this down a little bit better. Oh, for the goodies. Well, it doesn't look like I can tilt it down. So I'll, <laughs> here we go. All right, we've got air bubbles. Oh, okay, so this is uh, my gift certificates that I got. Very cool. Yay! So uh, just saying, hey, congratulations for being a prize winner. So I got to keep that safe. I'm going to move that over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, look at this. I got, I'm going to set this down. Ah! <laughs> I got fabric. Oh, wow. Okay, so are we ready to see what we got? Okay. Okay, this is Silk Weaver. 14 count Ada and look at that beautiful blue color that's coming up true on camera oh that's a nice piece oh that's pretty look at that isn't that pretty that's silk weaver silk weaver Ada on 14 count wow oh I, another silk weaver this is their new castle 40 count antique almond and that is that's coming up true to color that's really pretty and it's soft and they serge the edges oh that's a nice piece 
look at that with the pretty colors. I like that a lot. That deep brown would be perfect for something like an autumn stitching. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, and then this is a cash shell 28 count deep Caribbean. Oh, that is a beautiful color. It's got kind of the teal look to it and it's soft. It's really soft. I can definitely, well, th the 40 count is soft too. So I should, it's, I like it. It's nice. <laughs> oh, and it's really nice and bright. A, a summer stitch would look really nice on this or like a mermaid. I know so many people are st stitching the Mirabilia's. A mermaid? Yeah. Wouldn't uh, a mermaid look really pretty on this color? Yeah. Yay. Okay, what else do I have? Wexford linen. Well, that's cool. So this one does feel a little bit stiffer, but it's really pretty and I like the modeling. Okay, you came in for a drink of, okay, that's fine. I'm doing my unboxing video and showing everyone what I won. Look at this. Oh, Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's soft. It is soft and it's really pretty. It's nice, it's a, it's a nice long piece of fabric. Yeah, you wanna feel it? Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Yay. Oh, what else do I have? Look at this. It's so pretty. Oh, it's got like an iridescence to it. And this is custom dyed wool and it's pretty soft. Uh, this has, I've never seen wool with the metallic threads in there. Let me see if that can pick up. That's really lovely. Oh, that's very lovely. Oh, that's so pretty. I like this a lot. That is, let me show the label. Awesome. Okay. Okay. And then what we what do we have next? Oh, let me put away all the fabric and then <laughs> yay! Let's put away all the fabric. Oh, it's so pretty. So, like I said. I knew I was getting some fabric, but I didn't know what exactly what. And these are beautiful colors. I really like the colors. Sorry, that's my pug. Real life, that's my pug. <laughs> okay, so we have this. Wonderful. So I'm putting all my beautiful fabric away here. Here we go. So there's fabric. And ooh, I see I see some threads in the box here. Like I said, I had a general idea of what I was getting, but not specifically. Okay, so oh, so here's the next thing I got. Oh, so it's from the Clover Embroidery Clover Company. And I have purchased one of their products before. I've got their their punch needle, which I haven't tried it yet. I know, hashtag, make all the things. So, <laughs> Clover Company, now I have more goodies to, to test out. Oh, this is pretty cool. So this is their embroidery hoop that they are, oh, they're advertising for their punch needle. So that's pretty cool. A perfect for embroidery stitching and also can be used for traditional embroidery. I have not seen this style before. Look at that hoop and it's got it's got direction, so I, I'll have to learn how to use this. Inner hoop and outer hoop. Very cool. So that's really awesome because I had already purchased their punch needle. So now I have the hoop. Ah! Okay, here is violet purple desk needle threader. I have never used a needle threader before. So this will be fun to try out. And it's showing me how to how to do it. It's telling us to use an oval eye needle for this. That's interesting. So it's saying these different types of needles will not work. So an oval eye needle. So, all right, we'll, we'll have to try that out. Oh, I got an adjustable ring thimble. I've, I don't have one of those, so we'll try one of those. I got 
Oh, and then it, they got some more goodies in here. I better, I'm putting it away as I go so the pugs don't come and think that, that they're there. Okay, I got, okay, gold eye embroidery needles. Those are nice. I've, I have not tried the Clover brand needles before. And they are not telling me what num numbers three through nine. So that's different. I'll have to, I'll have to see about that. Snag repair needles. Oh, those are neat. I have never seen those before. And they have a, a really interesting easily repair snags in knitted and woven garments. I've never tried that before. That's really cool. Insert needle into the snag center. Pull needle through the fabric, capturing entangled thread as you pull. So it's got that the rough ridging right here. That's cool where it catches the fabric. That's really neat. Oh, and then a violet purple air erasable marker. Okay, what is this for? Markings naturally disappear in four to 14 days. The time it takes for markings to disappear completely defers depending on the humidity, temperature, and the amount of ink on the fabric. Okay, very cool. Thank you, Clover. So I have some, some cool products from them. Awesome, thank you. And here to say hello, this is this is Loki Pug making an appearance with his worse for wear raccoon. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, what do we have next? Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a scissor. <laughs> it's a scissors sheath. And it's got metallic. Okay, let me show you. Sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, so I knew I was getting this one. I did see the picture of this. And so it's got, it's it's wood, the laser cut wood. Oh, it's nice and soft. And oh, it smells, it smells really nice. It smells like, I used to be a dancer and the ballet, like the point shoes that, the sm oh, that's really nice. That's really cool. There is, okay, this is a pretty scissors sheath. This is a blue and a burgundy pen leather. Okay, let, get down, babies. Get down. Um, the scissor sheath. And then, oh, these are made pre-max. Steel and Evolution. I've never tried these scissors before. Made in Italy. Oh, they look really nice. They've got, they're, I like them. They're nice and petite. So I got that and that. Oh, oh. <laughs> this one's really cute. I love puns. I absolutely love puns. And so this is a little thread keep and it says, Owl, keep an eye on your embroidery. How cute is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places. And it, again, it's that beautiful wood smell. That's really nice. And it's it's nice and soft and the edges are nice and smooth, but you can still see where the it, it does have a bit of a wood grain that you can see. <laughs> I think I read, and I'll have to use my measuring tape, that this is a certain distance to help you too with your margins. I'll have to, I'll have to check on that. Okay, I'm... I don't want to lose anything. Let me move my box cutter. Okay, we're still we're still in this one bag. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Oh, okay. So, oh, this is from Joseph's Workshop, which I think he he did the wooden stuff here. The awesome, it's wonderful. And look at these. Look at that. I've never used one of these before. I got a. It's a thread. It almost looks like the four thread bobbin on one. I'll have to see how to use that. That's really cool. Okay, and then. Oh, the Gentle Art, the Countryside Hamlet Thread Pack. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I like those colors a lot. Let me see it pulling them out. There's Brick Lane, which is the brownish red, the White Stag Inn, 
which is the bluish white. Oh, it does have a blue tint to it. That's pretty in a, like a tan. Village green thatched roof and hollyhock purple. I have never seen these colors before. So this is really exciting. I love gentle art thread. I am, as a new stitcher, I haven't tried all the threads yet, which I cannot wait to try all of <laughs> the goodies here. But I have tried gentle art and I have some of my patterns have used gentle art threads. And I just, I've, I've really, I've really enjoyed gentle art. So I'm excited with these new colors. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it up. Let me get my paper here. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, those are so pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, I like, oh, oh, I think, oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Look at that. That is so pretty. That purple variegation on that hollyhock. And I really like this one. It's got a, the, this is the limited edition. Oh, let me reread what it said. The, it's the white, the bluish white is the white stag in. And that, oh, that's really pretty. So it looks like all of these are limited edition colors and that green is gorgeous. So I'll have to find a special project to stitch with those. Wonderful. Thank you, Gentle Art. Those are lovely. Awesome, awesome. And this pretty package that I already messed up the sticker. So pretty. Okay, put that back. There's more threads, everyone. Oh my God. Okay, so this bag is empty, so I'm gonna put all my goodies back in. Ah! <laughs> so exciting. Yay. Okay. I got, okay. These metallics, oh, they're from Krynik. Those are gorgeous. They've got that aqua green. Let me see if I can hold this up. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. I have never used these before. So this will be fun to learn to use. Made in the United States in West Virginia. Very nice. Oh, and then I got Christmas colors. Oh, they put them together on a brad. That's pretty cool. Let me see. That's really cool. Yeah. My pugs are just, <laughs> they want to be on camera. Okay. These are the, these are the silks, the Christmas collection, five, 10 yard skeins. Oh, and they're soft. Look at how, oh, those are so pretty. Trying not to blow out the color of the red there. It's really pretty, the red. Oh, they're, oh, they're all beautiful. So it looks like, I'm not gonna remove the brad because I probably won't be able to put it back together again. This is, okay, the red is called Harmony. The green, oh, they're all Harmony. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, these are out of Lakewood, Colorado. Hand dyed in Colorado. Trinway silks. Oh, gorgeous. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Those are so pretty. I can't wait to try those out. I have never stitched with silk before. I know. <laughs> I have to learn. I have I have to make all the things, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna move this bag over. Let's see what else is in here. I feel silly. I'm like, but wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? Oh, more air jackets. Okay. Oh, very cool. Pazinica America. So I have only seen their threads wound in the little balls. So this is really exciting to see them on skeins. I've never, I've never seen them on skeins before. So this is exciting. So let me see what here. This is their Colonial Needle Company, the Monet Sampler. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, and they sent John James needles too. 14 sewing needles, cross stitch and bead embroidery needles. So we'll have to see the difference with these. Okay. Okay, look at these colors. Oh, that's really lovely. Those are really lovely. So these are from Spain and the manufacturer, they come, 
distributed from White Plains, New York, the Colonial Needle. That is really lovely. So here, Crafter's Collection, the round embroidery round point size five and size seven. So I have Yay, I got some new needles to try. I'm excited about that. Thank you so much. And those pretty threads. It looks like they're made in Spain. I'm trying to see if they're five yard or eight yard skeins. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some research on those. They're really pretty though. I'm excited. Oh, let's try some new threads. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. And then we've got, oh my gosh. What? Krynik metallic thread card. I don't have one of their thread cards. How cool is that? So cool. Is that so cool? Look at, aren't there pretty sparkles over here? Ooh. They're really pretty. Yeah, it's like a thread book. Krynik thread. Krynik thread. So I've got all their information here. Okay. Oh, and then all their. Oh, that's really cool. Look at all of this pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So pretty. Look at the. Oh, look at just all the golds here. Just, ju these are just their golds. I had no idea they had all these different golds. Golden Chardonnay and Ginger are on the bottom here. Vatican Gold Cord and Grapefruit. Wow. Gold Rust, Cat's Eye. Oh, that Gumdrop Gold is really pretty. It's got, wow. This is, this is gonna be amazing. Oh, this Easter grass. Look at that, it's got like an iridescent to it. Oh my gosh. And then look at that. Look at those beautiful bright colors. Wow. That is so exciting. I'm so excited to have one of their thread color cards. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Krynik, for everything. Thank you so much. Okay, oh, okay. Let me see what else we got in here. What else do we have? Oh! Pie Making Day from Orophil. Oh, awesome. I have never tried Orophil before. They're threads. I know that... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that. That's wonderful. Made in Italy and they're on a wooden spools. And it says, what does it say? S 10 small wooden spools, six strands, 18 yards each. And this looks like this is the, the pack. And oh, they're really pretty in the vibrant colors here. Oh, I'm excited. I'll try these out. Let's just pull out one of the greens and see what they look like. Oh, that's really pretty. Wonderful. Awesome. Thank you, Orophil. I love it. So many new things to try. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, the next thing I have. Wonderful. This is from Weeks. Fabric and floss from Weeks Dye Works. Let's see what we got. I gotta pull it out nice and calmly. <laughs> oh, it's like a book here. Oh, that's cool. So they sent me just a nice notepad to write stuff down with. Oh, and a pen for all my design ideas. Write it all down. Here we go. I'm trying to pull these out nicely. Oh, these are pretty. These are really lovely autumn colors here. Let me see what we got. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, look at this one. Wow. Oh, that's so pretty. We see that color. 
Oh, gorgeous. So we have the coal, which is the like a black, a coal black. There's, this one's really pretty, the Noel. Oh, that is so lovely. It's got the variegation from a like a burgundy pink and an orange, yellow, a green. Here is their driftwood. I, I think I have a pattern right now that I need to stitch with driftwood. So thank you, Weeks Dye Works. <laughs> so pretty. Here is their gold, and it's that's really lovely. Their monkey, monkey grass, like a jungle green variegation. Merlot is really pretty, just as you would expect the a Merlot wine to look. Turkish red is beautiful. Look at that beautiful bright red. And then deep sea. I've actually, I designed a mermaid pattern using deep sea. I love that color. Pelican gray. Oh my gosh, I need pelican gray for the Blackbird Designs chart that I am stitching right now. Thank you. <laughs> Guacamole. Yes, please. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good guacamole? And here's grits. Oh, yay, that's gorgeous. Look at that grits. Awesome. And then, but wait, there's more. <laughs> We've got, let me move the pen. We have, oh, oh yeah, I dropped the pen. We've got fabric, linen from Weeks. Weeks? I love it so much. And then there's a pack and it looks like it is that really awesome pack of wool felt for wool felt applique and all that good stuff. It's gorgeous and the corresponding colors. And then look at this linen fabric. Oh, it is 32 count. They're beige. Oh, it's lovely. And that's a nice good piece of their beige. I like that a lot. Oh my gosh. I'm getting so many good ideas. I'm excited. <laughs> this is great. So thank you so much, Weeks. I really, I really appreciate it. Okay, what else do we have? Okay, I'm gonna move. Ooh. Okay, I'm pulling out. Oh. Fern Ridge Collections Needle Nest Drive. Look at that. It's a scissor fob, a beaded scissor fob from Fern Ridge Collections. Oh, it's so pretty. And it's got the little, it looks like it's, it comes with the whole, the directions and all the beads. Oh, and the little charm. Oh, that's so pretty. So it's, it looks like a mother of pearl, the bird charm. It's got the lobster claw, the beads, the needle, the the thread. Well, apparently I need to learn beadwork now. <laughs> Thank you, Fern Ridge Collections. I'm excited. I know that the Country Stitchers, uh, Deb and Liz, they they show these really beautiful beadwork scissor fobs. So this is really cool to see one in person and not just a kit on. That's really cool. So there's the all the different Oh, the bead is really pretty. It's like a root beer. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. I'm excited. I gotta learn up new stuff, right? Hashtag make all the things. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, what else is in here? Okay, I'm pulling out. Did I get? Oh, there's more. I dropped something out of the bag. Okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> a beaded scissor fob from Creative creative Angle Crafting out of Colorado. Oh, that's really cool. Beaded scissor fob with the winter scene pattern by Dawn Hunter. That is really cute. Look at that. Look at him. Little snowman looking up at the night sky. Kit includes everything you need to complete your beautiful beaded scissor fob, including beading needle, beaded thread, the Delica beads and fringe beads, chain, lobster clasp, and the crimp. Okay, so this is for the scissor fob. 
and it's look at him he's winking he's like i like winter how precious is that oh my gosh i'm excited thank you so much creative angle i really appreciate it thank you and then i'm official i have scissors look at these scissors oh my gosh these are from sullivan's these are the gold scissors Includes one eight inch dressmaker scissor and one four inch leaf handle embroidery heirloom scissors, both with beautiful golden accents. Well, yes, that is a beautiful golden accent. Look at that. Very nice. So this is these are by Sullivan's. Very cool. I you know, I don't have an official pair of scissors, like dressmaking scissors. I have a rotary cutter. I think it's from like 2005. I mean, it's it's a little worse for wear. <laughs> so this is wonderful. I'm so excited to have official scissors. With, I gotta hide these from the kids. <laughs> okay, and then I've got in celebration of 40 years and from Weichel. Americans Home the Needle Craft. What is this? Oh, it's a pattern book. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. I just opened it up to this one. I didn't know it is. Look at those Mill Hill Villages. Oh, look at that pattern. That is so awesome. Okay, I'm at, I'm at the table of contents. <laughs> oh, there's the Jim Shore Welcome and a Kitty Cat Lucky, Mill Hill Beaded Tassels, Mirabilia Red Skies at Night. What is that? Where's that? I haven't, have I seen Red Skies at Night? Where, what page is that? I just read it. <laughs> page 31. Okay, let's go see what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Red skies at night. Look at that. I have never seen that before. Look at that. How pretty is that? I have never seen that pattern before. Okay, and then there's the snowman. Okay, it's saying red skies at night. Instructions on 32 and 33. Does that mean like the pattern? Holy guacamole. There's the pattern too. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Red skies. And I just made the comment about the mermaid fabric. I mean, look at this. I have never stitched a Mirabilia, but it looks like that might be the one. It's got a ship. It's got a mermaid. It's got everything that I love. It's got some beadwork. And what size is that? Uh, 60, or sorry. 86 stitches wide by 126 inches high and it's it's pretty it's pretty uh dense oh this one's really pretty look at this one oh that's so pretty this is awesome i i i didn't know i didn't know what i was what this was coming what what this was the roses Oh, this is really pretty. I'm trying to do it sideways because I don't want to show the pattern on accident. Oh, that's really pretty. Y'all, <laughs> me and my yellow and oranges. Here is, oh, how cute is this? Debbie Mum's sprinkler. Quintessential summer with this sprinkler. Oh, I, that is so precious. I have never seen that before. That is 160 stitches wide by 100 stitches high. And it's got some cute little specialty stitches. And it looks like the bead, there's bead work on the butterfly and on some of the flowers. And that fabric is really pretty too. It's the Bluebell hand dyed Jobelin is what the model is stitched on. There's a beautiful welcome, pineapple welcome try to show you here I there's a pattern on the other page so I'm trying not to I mean oh I I got this white piece of paper here silly me okay <laughs> oh okay that beautiful like the Mill Hill bead pineapple 
Oh, I like that a lot. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, apparently I like every single one in here. Look at this kitty cat. This is Jim Shore's Lucky. Oh. oh, he's so cute. And that border is really pretty. I like the geometric pattern on his body. Okay. I didn't realize I was going to be doing a flip through. I hope you all don't mind. I, I, this is really cool. The Santa. This is a cute Mill Hill Midnight Santa. Let me show you. Let's see. He's really cute with the little cardinal and the cardinal bead. I like that. Uh, this is a lovely, this lovely book. It's got a, a bunch of different designers and celebrating 40 years. So America's Home of Needlecraft. Very cool. Thank you so much, Wychel. I really appreciate this book. I'm really excited. And I have never stitched anything. I, I have some Mill Hill bead kits. I have not tackled yet. And I haven't tackled a Mirabilia. So this might just be the kick in the, the sewing box that I need. <laughs> this is my stitching box to start something. Thank you so much. And then lastly, last but not least, well, other than the gift certificates. So I should, let me say the gift certificates. I want to thank, make sure I'm thanking everyone because I really, truly appreciate it. Okay. So, oh my gosh. Yes. So picture this plus I got a $50 gift certificate to picture this plus. Thank you so much. Fire Mountain Gems. Hello. Yes, please. Fire Mountain Gems. I got a $25 gift certificate. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, these are all the the people who include who are included in the the giveaway the pa prize package here. And thank thank you all. And so the last thing I have to show is actually It's, I, I'm, I'm really excited to have this. It's the DMC Etoile, the tin. And I have wanted this. And you know where you say you're like, I want something, I want something. You're like, no, no, maybe next time, maybe next time. And then I went to buy one and then they were out of stock. And here it is. I have purchased their orange and purple to do a design it for Halloween because I love Halloween. But okay, so I pulled the tin off and I know some people use the tin and they'll put their needle minder needles and stuff. Okay, so then it comes and they're really pretty. It's got the foam. Oh, that's nice. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. fancy. Those are really pretty. Wow. So I know I have purchased the perp, the one purple and the one orange, but I have never seen all of the colors together like this. These are really pretty. So I'm excited. I'm excited to try these out. wonderful and then there's the book that says here what each one is the special and they sparkle <laughs> this is so wonderful oh my gosh okay if you've all stuck with me so far I I want to thank you all uh the sponsors for sponsoring this I'd love to thank Just Cross Stitch Magazine through Annie's Publishing for choosing me as one of your six ornament design winners. This is so special to me. I have been collecting cross stitch magazines and back issues of just cross stitch magazine. And to look back in their December issues from previous years and see the winning contest winners 
it was always so cool to see the up and comers and the people submitting designs to the magazine and over the years seeing through the back issues all of the beautiful designs and to now be a part of that tradition <laughs> on being in the December issue of just cross stitch ornament it just it means so much to me I want to thank everyone who encouraged me to design I cannot wait for you to see my design it is coming out in the December 20. 19 issue of Just Cross Stitch and I believe it will be in stores and being mailed to those with subscriptions starting October 29th of this year. So I cannot wait. I, can, I cannot wait. <laughs> ah! Let me see. There's all the goodies here. Oh, thank you all so much. I really, this is an honor and I'm so excited to use all of these goodies and I'm going to be busy, y'all. <laughs> Thank you again. I hope that you have a beautiful time stitching. Remember that your stitching matters. You matter. <laughs> hey, make all the things. Until next time, take care. <laughs>